So here's my first attempt at the Assassin's Creed Vembrays. You'll see that I've placed them into all separate pieces and you can see just to show that it's made of a le real leather. I've used clips to attach all the different pieces together. I thought not only can uh, this be used to just separate them but you know you can use it to clean it up and to polish your leather if you want to treat it and look after it a bit. Um, this is my first attempt at making a leather vembre so you'll see that the main vembre uh, at the back was made of two pieces and I joined them together and the second section is a softer piece of leather which is just ideal for keeping the two pieces together and to be used later on to join it onto the hidden blade. The two top sections that I'm busy lacing at the moment um, I thought, you know, just to add a bit of authenticity to it is that if it, you've got a solid piece, of, if you've got a, two firm pieces of leather and this was an actual vambrace, it would add a bit more protection than if it was two softer pieces of leather and it adds a bit more rigidity to the actual vambrace itself. So at this point, I've already attached the two and I've clipped them together with these two heavy-duty uh, clips and I'm just using a leather thong just to tie them together and I think the way that I've done it is that I'll, you'll see later on that I bolt the two stiff pieces of leather down to the main van brace which is at the bottom but the leather thong actually just between using the bolts and the leather thong in the middle not just just to look good but it actually does help to just to keep everything neatly in place as you can see, he's well. I'm just lacing everything together and showing you that everything's actually authentically proper leather and not PVC pipe or metal or anything. And in this case, I've gone with proper leather instead of using the metal piece, as you've seen some other people were using. Because um, I just, I know, I, I use a, a a design that a, another guy designed off the web that he uses to tie, use the leather to tie the vembrace together instead of using metal. Uh, yeah, that's the two pieces just laces together, laced together. Now this is the balls that I'm using at the moment and ideally I want to use something with a smoother edge at the bottom especially because the last thing you want is a big bolt pushing up against your arm while you running around saving the wool. <laughs> um, but what I find is that even though it's got bolts um, with a nut at the bottom holding everything together, which is just for my mock-up, for my demo, uh, uh, it doesn't, it's not that uncomfortable to wear it with that anyways. So yeah, that's just me screwing everything together. So one thing you can note over there is that on the metal clasp that's just sitting, the insignia that sits on top of the van brace is... Um, I've used just four straps, or four temporary straps, just to hold everything together. And you'll note that what a lot of people have done is that they've gone and used straps that you find on dog leashes or any thin strap. Just using four cut-out pieces of leather doesn't really work, of course, especially since leather stretches quite a bit. So ideally, if you're going to use leather yourself, you've got to stitch it, run some stitching down the sides, or use some pre-made straps. I just thought. I'd make my own leather straps just to give it an authentic feel or look instead of using a belt that I've cut up or anything. That's me just bolting everything together. There's just four small bolts, even though they do protrude slightly from the bottom. It's not that bad. So these are just some offcuts, some leather offcuts that I've used just to build everything together. But uh, I picked them up at uh, a saddle, uh, is a place that saddles around the corner and now I'm just um, using some of the leather offcuts to get my initial prototype ready. I thought I'd, uh, once I've got the initial uh, van brace ready, I'd go out and make something a bit more with, you know, something with a solid piece of leather that's a bit firmer and of better quality. So these are the bolts that fit at the bottom of the van brace or the nuts. It fits under the bolt. 
And I just hand tightened them on there. I haven't really tight, tightened them too much because I didn't want the bolt protruding too much. Um, and it holds pretty well. I mean, the, the, the bolts themselves screw into the leather, it does not just secure. You can see the stitching run down the center of where I join these two pieces of leather just to create the one, the center of embrace. I mean, as I mentioned, this is not ideally what I want. I just want one solid piece of leather to do that. You can also see on the edging that you, of the leather, I've, I've finished it off neatly because I just thought instead of looking like a piece of leather that's just been recently cut, it looks neat if I've polished off the edges and beveled them as it's called. So now you've got the four bolts, it's just keeping those two pieces of leather in, in place. I'm just tightening up the thong just to create a bit of tension between the two protective pieces of leather. And it just creates a bit of tension between the bolts been bolted onto the main van brace and the thong in the center. It just creates a bit of tension. So when you do twist it around your arm, it just looks a little neater and just creates a bit of firmness to it. Then what I've done is you'll see that the softer piece of leather I've just twisted over and clipped on. So that's my insignia. And those are the belts that I'm using at the moment. I mean, I would, I'm going to change that up. The idea with that is that I do want to get uh, the hidden blade and the one that's made by Armand Ra uh, Shapeways, the 3D printed plastic blade is an excellent blade. I think that's one of the better options I've seen so far. Other than the metal one, but uh, oh, that's my, my, my cocktail shaker. I find the cocktail shaker is actually pretty good if you just to mount it onto the cocktail shaker. It's a great way to just mold your leather to the shape of your arm. So other than you running around with uh, and sleeping with your van brace on, um, and you don't if you don't have any shapes around the home, use a cocktail shaker. It actually works pretty well in terms of shaping the leather to the shape that you want. So these are just my two four makeshift buckles that I'm using and. Um, my idea is that either I can just use the metal insignia with the straps just to keep the vampires on, as you can see. Uh, and at the later stage, when I do get the hidden blade, is to attach the hidden blade, or at least attach the insignia with the straps to the hidden blade. And maybe attach one or two additional straps to the main leather vampires to the hidden blade contraption. So I've seen, I think there's only one really good hidden blade contraption that I've seen out there that actually has plenty of points that you can mount the leather van brace on. Otherwise it's the Almond Ra Shapeways uh, 3D molded hidden blade is, seems to be the best, uh, the best quality hidden blade out there. I thought the other option though is uh, if you do are going to cosplay and you going to be taking metal into the venue. I don't think they're going to allow you to be wandering around with the proper metal hidden blade attached to your leather van brace. So that's why I just thought I'd come up with a good leather option first. It looks pretty good. So that's pretty much me just tightening everything around the van brace. And yeah, those buckles, I know that they're not mounted exactly in the right place. So I just thought I'd just use them for now. And that's pretty much the final product. I'll just show it to you now so you can have a look. Just keeping it all neat. That's it. Voila. Hope you like my leather van brace. Just got a bit of uh, follow as much of the shape from the side as possible. There you go.